Year three with the Baylor Bears in real life. The third year is when they made the most progress and made a bowl game for me. I'm trying to go three straight bowl games. This is my last year with the program. So as we go into recruit, I just want to see that our interest has grown and more players want to come play for us because first year was what, 16 that wanted to play for us. And then second year, last year it was like 36. And then now this year is 57. So that's the true measure of how far we've come. And then now as I fill up the board, I just want to see if I could fill the board with only four star prospects, because like I said, none of these kids are going to actually play for me. It's just to see the growth of the program. And I remember that first year I had to go find some kids from New York. I don't even remember if any of them came, bro, with us. Like, I just know I had to go find some other kids to fill out the board. And this time around, shoot, it looks real good. 21, I think, players are four stars. And then remember, first year I got three four stars to come play with us. And then second year, I just got four. So now I got 21 to choose from. I would hope I would get a lot more. And remember, remember, I think I had got like two of them during the season with the last year recruiting class. So now, obviously, that quarterback from LSU is the best quarterback, but we got two years of starting experience with RG3, so watch out. <laughs> and then receivers-wise, we got all our receivers back, and none of them is Kendall Wright. None of them is Josh Gordon or any of those dudes that actually were NFL players like I was thinking about when I started the dynasty. So, I mean, when you look at the speed, bro, it's not even close. RG3 is head and shoulders above, so RG3, you good. And then running back wise, I mean, yeah, we got that freshman this year. We got some players and whatever the case is, but that freshman that left us kind of messed everything up. So Gardner's going to get back to starting. And then receivers wise, we've always had receivers. And you look down here, our freshmen are actually our better receivers. So I was actually thinking they wouldn't play. But now as we go through it, they're actually two of our better receivers being freshmen. So some of them guys that have been waiting their turn, they're going to have to keep waiting. <laughs> they're going to have to keep waiting, bro. Um, that tight end that we got, he's going to be in his second year, so he should be straight. And then, I mean, ain't nothing else over here, really. As we look at the line, we got a freshman starting that left tackle. I mean, that's really all we could say. And then now we're a four-star prestige. We went from two to three to now we're a four-star prestige. I remember Wake Forest, didn't they beat the shit out of us my first game? I, I should keep them for, like, revenge purposes because I'm pretty sure they beat us that first, first game. But like I said, I'm trying to get games that we could win. I'm not in this for no type of revenge and no type of nothing stupid. I'm trying to win games, bro. Last year, we started out 6-0, so I'm trying to get me another schedule that's comparable to that. I'm not playing around. Like, these teams I'm getting is teams that are more like Mountain West, teams that I know we could beat. Buffalo is kind of intriguing. Connecticut is kind of intriguing because, remember, as a coach, I'm from the Northeast. But the travel, too, is some bullshit. I'm not trying to do all that traveling. Be super honest with you. And I got New Mexico in there. We beat them in the bowl game last year, right? So, yeah, all these teams here, they're not too far. The only one that's going to be a far travel is Buffalo. Everybody else is coming to us or... Well, I guess I'm not going to play New Mexico. Well, I was going to say, too, that's an overkill. Look at all those damn games in a row. I mean, it's going to be like that either way. It's just going to be now all those games in a row at the end. And like I said, I'm trying to play Mountain West. 
So we played Western Kentucky before at the end of the season. So I'm trying to see. Yeah, it'll be Hawaii. I'm trying to play like these whack Mountain West type of teams. And I think we're going to go to Hawaii also. So I, I guess Buffalo is like the furthest. And we don't got no New York players. So it's not even like one of those things where we're trying to play back at home for one of our good players or anything like that. And like I said, I'm trying to make this schedule pretty simple. I'm not really trying to set us up and say, oh, well, we got to play number 14, Alabama. Because remember, we're in the Big 12 with Texas and Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, when they were having their run. So we got more than enough opportunities to show that we could play. Mississippi State is on that list, though. I took my two best young players, bet that. We're going to play y'all. And then we switched it to Air Force, so I don't know what I'm doing, bro. I really thought Mississippi State would have been the move. Maybe we might play them here in the first week if we can, because that's what just came to mind. No, I know Mississippi State is on here. I feel like I've gone through this first game so many times trying to change it. Maybe we might have to switch the Buffalo game because I kind of want to play them and, and at them too because I know those kids can't tra travel being red shirt because of the transfer. So, yeah, I kind of want to play at Mississippi State and beat the shit out of them just because, yeah, I'm hurt about that, bro. What the hell? I spent all my time trying to get them players and they just going to dip. And and one of them freaking started. I think the other the, the guard went to Arkansas. Some crap like that, bro. Like the two of them started. So yeah, I still feel some type of way. I ain't gonna lie. Even though I got four new four stars to worry about. So we about to get into year three. And the first thing we gotta do is just go look at the approval and see what those admin people think about me and the job I've done so far at 15 and 11. So they're expecting great things, finishing the top 25, win the Big 12 title, and playing the January Bowl game. I mean, I don't know how possible all those things are because we're 0-10 versus the top 25, and that's even just our conference teams when they're in the top 25. So, We've shown that we can make a bowl game and win two bowl games. We're starting off against Colorado State. This should be easy work. Even though they have us like a comparable team, it's not. We're going to beat them. And we beat them by two scores. We got Air Force again. These Mountain West teams cannot play with us. That's why I made sure and scheduled them. So they're not horrible, but they're not on the same page as us. We beat them by a touchdown. And that's the thing I've noticed, too, I ain't going to lie, that we've done a lot of. We win a lot of close freaking games, bro. It's annoying. So now we got Mississippi State at Mississippi State, and we beat them by a touchdown. Every game these last two years, bro, Texas is a team that should beat us. I'm going to sim that. Missouri is a team that we should beat. And we actually end up beating Texas by four, barely. Now we got Missouri. We beat them by three every freaking game. I was off of it, but I'm going to get back on it. Every game we win, we got Nebraska number 19. They out of the top 25 because they lost. And we're in the top 25. Every game we play, we win by touchdown or less. Now we got Iowa State. We're in the top 25. We're 6-0 and again. This year, I think we're going to get 7-0. and We beat the crap out of Iowa State. They're 0-7. We got a and This is a team that we've beaten the last two years. So, hopefully, I think we did we beat them last year. Actually, I think we lost. I think they beat the shit out of us, too. Okay, yeah, we won this time, though. Yeah, they beat the shit out of us last year, I think it was. I thought we were going to win because we won that first one. So, now we got Texas Tech. We're up to number six in the country. And we get the dub. Another touchdown game now we got oklahoma state this is very important we're number six they're 25th 
We got a five star coming and we got a four star coming. So they dropped out of their top 25. We're number five and we beat them by three. Every freaking game is coming down to the wire. Which is good. I mean, we're winning the close games. Now we got Oklahoma. We're undefeated. Number five in the country going up against Oklahoma. We're down, We're up to number four. And Oklahoma pulls it off in overtime. So we get our first loss of the season. And we were about to run the table, I think, at 10-0. But now we got Hawaii, so that should be sweet. That should be an easy game. We get another quarterback coming in. We're number 10. We dropped six spots. This should be easy. We beat them by two scores. So this year was actually pretty simple. I mean, we didn't have too much to do. We get two more four stars, but we're actually going to be playing in the Big 12 championship game at 11-1. and one. So we lost that one game to Oklahoma by three points, but we basically ran the table, and we're not even that good. We're a 70 overall team, bro. So we're number six here in year three. 11 and 1 in the championship game. We got to win this game. This is one of the things they wanted us to do. And they wanted us to finish in the top 25. For the first time, they didn't want us to beat Texas and Oklahoma, even though we beat Texas and lost to Oklahoma. So I know this game ain't going to be easy because we're not that good. I don't know how the hell we did it. Like, I only got so many prospects in. I think what it is, like, we're down 7 0 early, 10 0 early in the second quarter I think what it is is just familiarity third year with the program everybody knows what to expect not so much great players if that makes sense so we come out trips right we're gonna have to get the ball to the running back oh no we're going to the receivers who the hell is this oh this the freshman big body that's who it is. I thought we was going to get to the running back early. I guess we said, nah, we're going to the freshman tight end. No, if that's the tight end, he's not a freshman. Now we're going to get to the running back. Oh, they tipped it like a basketball. I mean, my strategy has always been the same. So he has 3,300 yards, 32 touchdowns. Why the hell does this man throw double-digit picks every year, though? That's what I don't get. Could have got it to square coming across the middle. I mean, we got we need one yard, so that was a good play. Either way you look at it, we only need one yard. And I was thinking this would have been a quick season because we ran through 10 and 0. All right, now we get it to the running back, and it's Gardner. And like I said, I think Gardner's going to benefit because this is year three in the system for him. His first year, he got a couple easy touchdowns, like in this area, red zone area. Last year, he didn't get that many touches because we were trying to feature the freshman. And then here we go. Let's go. Easy. Ran down the field. But I think he's going to benefit because any running back three years in the system, yeah, you you should benefit and be solid. I, I would think, you know what I mean, just because of familiarity. So now it's 10 6, and I'll probably play again because. Obviously, I want to erase that deficit. We get the ball back. They didn't do nothing with it. And I'm running the ball to start it. So, obviously, he's going to have the record for passing touchdowns in the season. He's already been the record holder for passing touchdowns in a career. And like I said, Gardner, that's a good run, bro. Because other dudes would have probably just fell or tripped. Oh, my gosh. Really? Just as I was saying that he was going to benefit the most, he gets injured in this game, bro. I guess that's how it works. And he has the most rushing yards in a career, like in a season, actually. By like 200 yards, get it to the running back. Or fullback, actually. That's crazy. And I knew he would have a big year. I haven't had a 1,000-yard running back, I don't think. He's the first one. And then he gets hurt. That sucks. That sucks. Get it to this running back. Let's go. So, Bozeman, I remember him from last year, so he's not a freshman. I remember he got some carries. And that's the thing, like I said, if you can catch him on offense, we good money. Run, 
probably give you like me playing, probably give you like five carries. But I'm going to get you like five, ten receptions, definitely. So here's that. Scramble out. Let's take the shot. Oh, my gosh. That's why he has so many goddamn picks. Because he's late on these damn throws. And then you're running. It's like, okay, we all know you're running to the right. So you can only be throwing it to these receivers on the right. There's no confusion of it. Like, when you drop back, you could be reading left or right, throwing left or right. But I feel like when you roll, I think that's where all his picks have come in. So now we got to get the ball. Oh, my gosh. Did I really just jump off sides, bro? Line up in a neutral zone. Encroachment. Helping the freaking offense. We got to get the ball back. Got to make up for that mistake. And it's not so much that Missouri is so great because clearly they've lost a few games. And the way how the Big 12 is, is they're on the side with Nebraska and them. So that's the easy side. Oh, let's go. That's a sack, bro. Come on, man. It's still a close game. It's still first half. Only two minutes really left. So whoever the heck that is, he just broke his school's record. Come on, bro. We got to, man, we got to make a stop, bro. We can't be letting them get seven yards of play. Every other play is a first down. Like, come on, bro. And I usually, like I said, I don't like playing defense, and I think that's what makes everything take so much longer. Like I said, this series was going to be almost an hour every video. Oh, that's a pig. Come bro, I got to inhale, exhale, work on my breathing techniques. That was horrible. They was just doing whatever they wanted. They looked like us on offense. It only took them a few plays. So now we get the ball back, and now we got to go fire with fire, which is something I've been able to do. Oh, wow. He blew out the old record. That's something I've been able to do from the jump. Oh, let's get it to the running back. My well, fullback, my bad. Is fire with fire, because remember the TCU game, 47 to 40. I don't like games like that. But I think that was one of the last games. Well, I played the UNM game, but that was one of the last games I played running back. Never mind. He's on his back. <laughs> Bro, this is not a good drive at all. I mean, as long as we don't throw another goddamn pick, it's kind of how I'm looking at it. Because I was trips right. I'm probably not going to try to throw the ball to the running back because, oh, L1, bro, what are we doing? L1 wide open, standing there, and could have ran and got us the first down. You guys have to catch. But no, I got to throw it to the middle of the field. And and like I said, I always talk about his interceptions, and then you look at how I play when I play. I'm throwing picks left and right. I feel like every game I throw a pick, at least one. So, 10 or 15, I mean, L1. And then there's been times, let's be honest, too, where, what game was it? I think it was the game against UNM, where he only had, like, one incompletion the whole game. So, I guess that was the one game where I didn't throw a pick. But they come after him, too, and then X is wide open. Well, not wide open, but might have been more yards to be gotten. By taking the shot. But also, we're rolling to the right. Why the hell would I try to throw to my left? I did it that one time, bro. In the red zone. Oh, that's good. Easy money. Weiss is playing well. I don't even know who he is. I know Hill's a freshman. I know that much. And then, because the two... Oh, it probably is Weiss that's a freshman. I was going to say the two main, let's go, Gardner out the backfield as always, over-reliable. I thought he was injured. But he already has the school record for rushing yards in the season, so he's set. And I know he's happy because he sat out last year. And not really sat out, but kind of took a step back, and then now he ends up being in the record books. And then we get sacked. Bro, this game is still very close. Can't afford to take an 11-yard sack, bro. It was, what, second and one, if that's the case? 
Should have just ran the goddamn ball. We're taking a deep shot. Let's go. I think Gidry is a freshman too, bro. Because remember, I got a few freshmen this year. That's a good catch. Whoever the hell he is, whatever the hell grade he's in. I'm pretty sure he's a freshman too. Because remember, we were looking at that. I was like, bro, we got all these good little freshman receivers coming in at once. And I know they're all looking at it like, bro, every receiver they've had for the past couple of years have had some success. And I'm not saying like NFL, but that's a big time catch. Because now it's only, we down by four. Well, three, my bad. Yo, get a fucking stop, bro. What's going on with this punk ass defense? They're acting like a big 12 defense, bro. And if you know football, you know what the hell I mean. The hell was that? Just let them do whatever they want. Let's go. We got all these receivers, and that's like a perfect world, right? Like, obviously, it's not sustainable, but in a perfect world, if you get all your receivers some touches like I do in this game, or triangle, I've seen that the whole way. If you get all your players some touches, bro, who you going to guard? Because we got trips left, and I could throw it to any one of those three dudes, and I know they'll catch the ball. Or I could throw it to the running back, which is what I like to circle. That is so fake. I ain't going to lie to tell you, being able to roll to the left as a right-handed quarterback, open up, spin around, and throw a dart, fake. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. There's no type of training you could do as a quarterback to do that in real life. That's just some other level video game. Oh, we got to get it to triangle only because X was in front. And I would have thought he would have been able to just be like, not a, yeah, diversion. Should have ran the ball right there, but we got it to X. Let's work. And I didn't even realize it. Like I said, I think I did realize it that Williams graduated. He had like a thousand career yards. He only had like four or five touchdowns though, but he was so clutch. And I bet you all these kids are like, yeah, I'm going to be, oh, that's easy. Let's go, Bozeman. That's easy. I know all these kids are like, yeah, bro, I've seen the kids from the past couple of years as I've been in high school and coming on visits and coming to games. They've been at all, like even Bozeman, who the hell is this dude? He's a backup running back trying to get a touchdown. And I have no problem giving him the ball three times in a row. No problem. One of the things I need to do at some point that I still haven't done with RG3 is get a rushing touchdown for RG3. I don't know if y'all been paying attention. I haven't done it yet. That's the end of the third quarter, though. So I could have did a little bit better of a job with clock management because I'm down by two scores with five minutes left. Could have did a little bit better of a job. And like I said, maybe this might be the play right here. He's 20 of 25. Like, he's really good. It's just those misses are picks. That's easy. That's an easy touchdown to the tight end. But, yeah, like, everybody eats. Cole was getting money. Quinn, Williams. Almost every receiver I had got a ball thrown to them. The only one was Cantrell or whatever his name was that came up last year. But then he started to eat last year. And that's what I was saying. It's cool. So we're down by three. And no, we're not. We give up another freaking touchdown. But it's cool because, like I said, I'll redshirt you or whatever, unless you're already like a junior or senior. But everybody did get a chance. Like everybody got like 30 catches in their career at least. That wasn't a good throw at all because he threw it on his back hip. And the damn defender could have just, if he was any type of athletic, bat that ball away. So we got three minutes and we down by 10, bro. So we really got to make some shake X. That's easy. If only he was Cantrell. Because you know what? I was thinking about that with this iteration of the receiving group. I don't think anybody's that fast. Maybe 83 is the quickest. Right? So we're going to get him the ball. Yeah, he's the quickest. You could tell by his body type. Kevin Smith, six receptions, 44 yards, and a touchdown this game. I think. He has, yeah, he has it. 
It can't be he has 44 yards in the season. Let's go. Running back is always unreliable. And that's the other thing, too, is that makes it all easier, too, is even if we say the receivers aren't the quickest and now we got big dudes on the outsides and then the tight end, we got running backs that can catch. Let me see some. Let's go. If he just was a little bit crisper with his footwork, he might have been down the sideline. But either way, I'm happy for anything he could do because, remember, he went out early. And he's showing how solid he is by coming back in and being a pass-catching option. Because, remember, he has, let's go, three straight catches from the running backs. That is so clutch. What you going to do, like I said earlier when we started it off and I said this was the offense we was going to go with, what the hell are you going to do? Who are you going to guard? All my receivers are clutch. Like, X right here is clutch. Oh, run him over, bro. That juke move is sweet. But because you juke and your momentum took you out of bounds, you was one yard short from the goal line. As opposed to if you was to just run his ass over. You might have scored. But, like, right here. Oh, that was a bad throw. Literally threw it into triple coverage. That was a horrible decision, and that's why he has so many goddamn interceptions. He should have the record for that, too. You know how they give you records for everything else? Yeah, he should have the record for most interceptions because that's some bullshit. Running backs, never mind. We get it to the big body receivers. And that's what I was saying, too. I feel look at them dudes. They all look like the monsters. They all big body. So we down by three with... Two minutes left to go. This defense got to make a stop, and I'm not playing, bro, because I'm just, well, hmm. I was just about to say I'm just as bad as the, as the computer, but I guess I got to play, bro. I have to because maybe that's the only way to secure. To get this. Oh, let's go. Dumbass fumbled it. Yes, sir. Dumbass fumbled it. First of all, he was too tentative with that option. He literally was running with a big gap and flicked it back because I guess he panicked. And he's the all-time pass and everything for this team. So he's the all-time Missouri quarterback and does that. Oh, screen was smart. That was smart. Was not expecting that and ended up getting back all those yards they lost. Definitely was not expecting that. All right, let's work then, bro. This is a big play for you. I mean, call timeout. Minute and 30 left, basically. If you get this, we only got one timeout. Oh, let's go. That dumbass play caller called screen again. Lost three yards. We backed them up. They're going to have to punt it to us. Yeah, we don't have no timeouts, but we know how to work the sideline. This is a college team. We understand catch the ball and get out of bounds. Like right here, like I said, they got some big ass dudes playing return, so I'm not surprised they don't really got the jukes. But that's the thing that would surprise you too is big dudes can run. They probably are fast. They just don't got the insane quickness. So we got split backfield. We're gonna try to get it to the run. Oh, they all messed up. Y'all done messed up. That was a 40 yard. Oh, forget 40. We're gonna score. Yeah, we're gonna score. And that's the reason, you see, I just played really good that last series on defense, so we might as well just score. What is the point of running out of bounds or doing some dumb crap? Because, remember, we were down by three. So if we was to run out of bounds or do some dumb crap to bleed the clock and we end up with a field goal, we end up having to go to overtime. So I wasn't expecting that. Like I said, this dude got all my respect, came back from an injury early, and got the game-winning touchdown. So, I mean, after having such a great year rushing the ball, to come out and have the game winning receiving touchdown is clutch. So, right here, I think I'm going to have to play this again, just like I did. I'm having a little bit of confidence now. So, 381, five touchdowns is crazy. Video game numbers, bro. And this ain't even his Heisman year. I think his junior year is when he won it in real life, but come on, defense. This is what I was saying before. It was what I started to say. As I got, I'm like, bro, if I play as just as bad as the computer, 
computer beginning, they asked, kicked all game. 31 points is not, nothing to laugh at. When you give up 31 points, you getting your ass kicked, bro. Let's work. Come on with it. Let's work. First and 10. I'd rather it be first and 10, bro, than be second and three. Come on, man. And then you push him out of bounds. The clock is supposed to keep winding, though, because he went backwards. But, bro, we need a play. Because all they need is a field goal. And we go to overtime. Come on, bro. This is that bullshit I'm talking about with this defense. If I play, this is what happened. If the computer play, they're going to they gonna score either way. And what I don't need is them to score and we get the ball back with 10 seconds left. So we need to make a play. Come the fuck on, bro. There's no way. Every fucking pass that they throw is getting complete. Come on, man. Shit don't even make no sense. Every pass is complete. Almost jumped. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was a nice little motion they did just to hand the ball off. But that's good. All right. Clock management. They clearly suck at it because they have a timeout. So, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Maybe they think they're already in field goal range because they're letting way too much time come off the clock to run an option play. And he almost fumbled that shit. All right, timeout. And they're going to try to kick this field goal. What is this, a 40-yarder? Oh, they could make that, though. Ooh, they missed the game over one. That's the most anticlimactic. What the? F Bruh. I just said, ooh, they missed the game over we won. Some dumbass jumped off sides. Or lined up in the neutral zone or whatever the hell they did, bro. We just won the game. Now it's a 34-yard attempt instead of a 39-yard attempt. That's some bullshit. That's like literally, you can't make this shit up. They missed the field goal. Everything was perfect for us. Some dumbass lined up all sides, bro. So now we're going to overtime in the Big 12 championship game. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Ain't that some shit? It's like, bro, you thought you was going to win. You stopped us. I mean, you let us get a lot of yards. And we goofed with the clock management, but you stopped us. And then what? Somebody jumped off sides. Like I said, bro, we're having our best season in school history because we're like, what, 11 and 1? Make a stop. His dumb ass juked right into the tackle, so I ain't mad at that. Because everybody, their bodies was falling in front of him, so he tried to cut it back and boop, got caught. So I'm not mad at that. This defense, though, man, this defense sucks. Bro, grab him. Bro, how the hell he end up getting five yards? Grab this nigga, bro. What the hell you got going, defense? That's why I don't really be paying attention. Like, yeah, I'll get the recruits and whatever the case is, but I'm not paying attention because look at this shit. What the f bro. We got lucky it's fourth and one, so they dumbass probably going to kick the field goal. I mean, they've been doing whatever they want with us. If I was them, I actually wouldn't have kicked the field goal. I know the reason I say that. It's because it's fourth and one. Why am I kicking a field goal and, and celebrating? You dumb as hell. Because now if I score a touchdown, game over. So you just screwed yourself. It's game over if I score either way. And I mean, yeah, I got to score. But still, like, y'all can't stop us. <laughs> y'all ain't been able. Y'all done gave up 34 points too. Just like I'm saying we did back because we gave up 37. And I got... Bro, as long as, well, I mean, they probably have a better sense of feeling, too, because they're like, this damn quarterback, if he don't throw it to this running back like we've been doing, his ass going to throw it to us. So they probably have that type of confidence behind themselves, too. I ain't going to lie. I mean, they're a top 25 team. We're a top 10 team. Run it fullback, fullback. Get me a block. Damn, and run up, like. Now you injured because you got horse collared. Now you got your leg broke or whatever that was, and we saw that the whole way. His forearm, get your punk ass up. I thought he got horse collared and his neck broke. And I don't even know why they call it a horse collar. Do you put collars on a horse or something? Like, uh, is it something I don't know because I'm not a country boy? Running back, 
We're going to go running back every time because they've shown that they don't cover him. He has to have 100 yards at this point. Probably his best receiving game to go with all the rushing yards that he has. Going down as one of the better running backs in Baylor history. Fullback. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Just got to throw it away. Yo, that's crazy. That is crazy. I literally said I just got to throw it away. Somehow we got it to the tight end for the touchdown for the game winner. That is crazy. That is really ridiculous. That has to be a sports center top 10 play, a game winning touchdown, running to the sideline, just throwing it up with four Missouri players in the area. That was a dart because only he could have caught that how he dove to the ground. That was crazy. Yo, and I don't even get it, but I do know that he only threw 12 picks so far this year. So that's the least that he's thrown in his career. So there's a lot to be positive about. And like I said, he going to figure it out, and he did. As we talked about the picks, <laughs> he figured it out, bro. He figured it out. Look at that catch, though. Is this the one that he missed or the one that he made? That's probably the overtime one. Bro, that is such a freaking play. Rolling to the right, throw it back to the left. To the ground where only your diving receiver could catch it is crazy. So 400 yards, six touchdowns. Running back can't really get too much work. But yeah, Gardner had 131, like I said he would. And all the other receivers did okay. Gidry, the freshman, like I was saying. Bro, that was tough. That game was harder than it needed to be because we are supposed to be a top 10 team and they're barely in the top 25 because they won their weak-ass side of the Big 12, but that was tough. All right, now, last thing there is to do after winning the Big 12 championship is playing the January Bowl, January 1 Bowl, New Year's Day Bowl is what they call it. So basically, I'm checking off everything they wanted me to check off if you really want to be technical. The only thing is I haven't beat Oklahoma. I know I sound like a broken record, but that's literally the only thing I haven't done that they've asked me to do. So I guess that's going to be Tim Tebow. 54 total touchdowns. Dang, we're going to play Pitt in the Fiesta Bowl. They're 11-1, ranked number 7. We're 12-1, ranked number 5. They're better than us in almost every category. But I think it's fitting, too, because remember... Willie Hawkins went to Pittsburgh, and then that was the road to glory for 09. So I guess that's kind of fitting. And they, they played in the Fiesta Bowl like every time. I guess it's just the Big East tie-in bowl with Willie Hawkins. They I felt like, no, nah, they was in the Gator Bowl and the Orange Bowl. Whatever. I know this game ain't going to be easy either way you want to flip it because we're both highly ranked. It's a New Year's Bowl for a reason. New Year's Six is what they call it. Yo, why don't he have these big-ass dudes back here? Hill is another freshman. I think that's what it is, too. Maybe I did that. Just making sure the freshmen get to make it like All-American by doing something. Maybe that's why. Now that I'm thinking about it out loud. Yeah, because I realize it's easy for them to make All-American for a returner. I mean... It's a big position. A lot of guys don't run him back. Never mind. <laughs> Let's get into the first one. Let's work. I was going to say a lot of people, and he and they start, though. It's just what I'm saying is getting to be an All-American is hard. And I think a lot of people, just in general, don't appreciate return. Oh, we got to get the X. Let's go. Tight end, big play. 14 yards. And... Especially nowadays, bro, they don't appreciate being a returner at all, bro, because they don't even return the ball. Even like in the NFL, they just let the shit go. And I'm like, bro, when I was young, I would have loved. Let's get it to the receiver, freshman. I would have loved to get the opportunity to return just to have the ball, bro. Like, you get in yards and you still have the ball in your hands. But, I don't know, nowadays, they just let the ball go by them. Now I got to... Give me a little rush attempt because Gartner 
is one of the all-time greatest Baylor running backs. I don't know. Would you even call it like that? Like, is that how it works? Because you have one of the best, well, you have the best rushing season ever. Would you be considered one of the greatest? Or does it have to be body of work? Let's get it to circle wide open. That's touchdown. Easy money. And I think Weiss is not a freshman. I think Weiss is one of them dudes that redshirted at the beginning. So now he's getting his chance. So if I wasn't to redshirt him, it would be a different story. I don't think he's a freshman. That's tough, though. That was way too easy. Like, everybody was going to the right, and this dude's coming across left, no one guarding him. Probably like a mesh. Probably like a drag or something like that, and they just fell asleep. I mean, I think this game's still going to be difficult. Like, oh, never mind. <laughs> we jumped out on them 14-0, and we're in control. And then here, starting the second quarter, we have the ball. So if I could get another score, damn, another pick, bro. If I could get another score here, we could probably put this game out of reach. Oh, L1. Yeah, I saw that. Ooh, damn. <laughs> damn, this dude got a fence or took offense to what the hell has been going on because he hit him. Like, you know how the crash dummies do when they put them in the car? Like in the Volkswagen or whatever? X, easy. You know how they do when the crash dummies crash? When they literally put people in there to crash and see how they... Well, what happened? That's what that shit looked like, bro. That was a hit. That boy said, nah, man, we top 10. Oh, that's easy running back. We top 10. We're not about to let y'all punk us like that. That boy flew. He, his feet was off the ground. Damn. <laughs> that's not even my team, but that was crazy. Or oh, X. If we could escape the pressure, though, damn. That was a good play that by that defense. You better chill out. See, and I always hate that. Look, when people do all that celebrating, I ain't going to lie. Like, I know I think it was the Terry Davis series when they were sacked. When they were sack him and then they would stand over him. I was like, all right, bro, you a bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> hey, let's go. We got another receiver just out here getting catches. I don't even know who he is. But he out here getting catches, though. That's how deep this team is. Just random dudes. If we get any of those two, like triangle right here, that's first down. Kimbro, that's another receiver. Bro, we got too many receivers. I think that's a red shirt dude too, Kimbro. I'm pretty sure. That name is super familiar. But yeah, if we could get some blocking. Like if like right there with number 51 just did where he went past and then started celebrating, that's cool. When he's trying to stand over top of you, I think that's so disrespectful. So we got empty, second and 20. They probably not going to be able to guard Collier. Probably not going to be able to guard. Um, what's number 11's name again? Coming across. I figured that much. Yo, make a move. Let's go. Got back all them yards. Weiss. That's his name. So yeah, right here, they probably won't be able to guard Weiss. Especially if we got Weiss going outside. Five and out on the left side. Watch it. Five and out on the left side. That's my go-to when I need a couple yards. Who got the flag, bro? That's a touchdown. Damn, bro. That's probably, yeah, that's the second time this series. The first time was with that other damn lineman that transferred and went to Arkansas. God damn, bro. The touchdown was dead. Everything was sweet. Third and three. Now it's third and 13. That's crazy, bro. So now, might be able to catch him slipping on a route coming across like we did earlier with Weiss. X wide open. Come on. Let's go, Davidson. Who the hell is Davidson? Got to be a receiver. I mean, a running back because it's five wide. Empty. Yeah, that's a running back. I don't even know who the hell that is. I don't know if you're a freshman. Oh, my gosh. I just got to throw this one up because there's nothing I could do. Yo, no one touched you, bro. Why'd you go out of bounds? I mean, yeah, they would have jumped on you and horse collared you, but literally nobody touched you. That could have been a smooth touchdown run. Like I said, I still haven't ran one in. I ran in a two-point conversion. 
Second and seven. Bro, I feel like this drive is taking forever. Running back. Damn, why'd he have to come all the way back for that ball? Bro? That was a shitty throw. And we got four yards. Had to come all the way back, go back up to game. And that was some bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna bullshit you. That was horrible. Oh, that's a nice little throw. Too bad he came out of the end zone to catch it. And I thought I would have been able to run that, but I don't know. I'm, I'm of that mindset, bro. That throwing it is a little bit better. Because you throw it as hard as you can. Oh, let's go, Gardner. Let's go finish that. Come on, bro. If you throw it, I feel like your father's having a good year if he has nine touchdowns this year alone as a tight end. But remember, Cole was an All-American. Or All-Conference. I'm. Oh, my gosh. What the hell happened this time? Clipping. Oh, it's holding. I was going to say, remember, Cole was an all conference second team player at tight end. So we actually been able to get tight ends work. They declined it. Are they dumb? They, are they stupid as shit or am I tripping? They just declined it. So we could have less downs. We could get it to the running back or scramble. and Yeah, running back. What are you waiting for? Let's go. That was too easy. I don't know why the hell it took so long. Like, I guess the corner or whoever, the linebacker that was going with him, had to come back and commit. That's exactly what happened when he saw Audrey through rolling out. That's what it was. Yeah, I'm never going to call him Martin Wright. That's RG3. So we up by three scores. They score a field goal. And now we're up by four scores. So it's about that time. I think I'm going to get in and try to score, but also at some point, I'm going to see if I could try to get my young players in there, too, if I have to. So he has 3,800 yards. Damn, I thought I would have been able to get to 4,000. Running back. Garner is in there. Ooh, that was a nice little jump cut. That was sweet. See, and this is the second straight year we'll be beating the shit out of somebody. Because remember, we beat the shit out of UNM last year. And then, yeah, I'm going to end it. Or at least... Get it close to the end and try to get my freshman. Because they're going to transfer anyways. I mean, I already figured that. Them four stars. But I could get them in the game right here. Give them a chance. And then I can see what Whaley talking about too. Because remember Whaley. And then I got these two freshmen. I don't even remember who is who. I know they both haven't played. I mean, why would they have played? It's crazy because Jones is the closest to RG3. And now I'm just trying to see. Oh, four touchdowns. Without, you see, 20 of 2776 is like super game manager numbers. He really ain't doing nothing. But he has four touchdowns because one of the things is when we get super close to the red zone, what you going to do with us? So I'm going to simulate it. We end up beating about 38. Very similar to last year. That was the most butt-ass naked I've ever seen anybody in this game. I don't know how he came across so wide open. And, I, and like I said, I know he's not a freshman. I know he's a redshirt, one of them dudes that I redshirted first year. And now he's getting his chance. He is tough. And, and all this jumping around these dudes did. Can you imagine we beat them by 38? And, and this ain't even present day 2024 where you can say, oh, well. My players sat out because of the transfer portal or my kids sat out because of getting ready for the draft. Like, they players was really in this game and we beat the shit out of them, bro. So we should move up because we're already number five. So like I said, he ended up with four touchdowns. Gardner had some carries, ain't really do nothing with it. But he had a receiving touchdown. Had Smith with a receiving touchdown. Weiss and Bozeman. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that was the best game ever. And that might be his last game as quarterback for the Bale of Bears because he has all the records. So, I mean, if I'm his agent or if I'm his parents or his support system, I'm telling him to get the hell out of Dodge. You have all the records. You just guided them to a top five finish. You and your career, I think he has like 27 wins. All my wins is his wins. 
So you're probably the winningest quarterback in school history. You just won a New York, New York, <laughs> a New Year's Six Bowl. I mean, what else do you need to do? So 28 and 12 was his record. Six and four against rivals. Three top 25 wins this year. Three bowl wins. Conference championship. I mean, what are we sticking around for? Now we'll go look at the All-Americans, see if he at least got that. I mean, that would be something to stick around for, I guess. Who the hell's number 12? Not John Brantley that won the, the Heisman. Because I know Tebow's 15, so we got one All-American Brink at defensive tackle. And that stuff is the thing that comes with when you win your conference. So we got Gardner, the running back, second team. Fowler, the tight end, second team, All-American, not just All-Conference. And that's what I was going to say. When you win awards, it's because your team is better. So we're a top five team. We better have three people on the All-American. So Guidry, 6'7 receiver, freshman All-American. We got Malone, a tackle. He's a red shark. Red shark. <laughs> you can't even talk. He's an All-American, so we got three, and then we got four. So Thomas Hill, one of the receivers that I just randomly put at 6'3". So we ended up getting like three freshmen and then three normal. So now we got two on the first team, four on the first team, the quarterback, the running back, tight end, the guard. So four first team. I mean, we won the damn conference. Five, there goes our defensive end. Six, our defensive tackle. I mean, and remember when we didn't get not one in the year, in the first year? Now we got like seven on first team alone. And I knew this would happen. Like I said, I knew it would happen. I just didn't know it would happen so quick. And now we got eight because we got a tackle. And you get, what, 22 starters? So, shit, we got, or 24. We got 24 starters and eight of them are all Americans. Or all conference, actually. So now, after we went through all that, the last thing to go see is basically who's leaving the program. That's really all there is, all there else is to see. And then obviously the record books, you already know he's going to rewrite every passing record. Gardner rewrote the Russian record, Russian touchdowns, passing yards. In a career, too, passing touchdowns in a season, damn. And passing touchdowns in a career by 40. So we already know what time it is with the quarterback. And that's why I gave him the rings early and just let him learn them damn picks. I wonder if I go look now, too, did RG3 throw so many damn picks in his career? Because, bro, we ended up 13-1. and one. So he's going to be going to the NFL. I mean... He should. This dude broke every record. Every year he got better. Ended up with what? Like six, eight, like nine, ten thousand yards. Eighty some touchdowns. Every year. Well, his second year, them picks was crazy. And then rushing wise, he only has like three rushing touchdowns. That's why I said that's one thing I regret. So Gidry, he's going to Kansas State, as always. These damn four stars that I somehow managed to get 800 yards, bro. What the hell did I not do that I told him I was going to do? This guy, he's leaving. Thomas Hill. I mean, he didn't get the ball. He was the one that got the return All-American, though. Harmon, he didn't get the ball. He didn't even play. And I got him like, he probably came in when I came in. Going to ULM. So we have our linebacker. He didn't really play. I don't know why it matters. So Kansas State, Arizona State, ULM. Them, them, them players that we just showed is not nothing. This corner's tough, though. Roll. That was a dude from the first ever. So he was here. But I started switching him out for them. Okay. To let those freshmen get some shine. Okay, that makes sense. Choice. Ward, we got some good corners. I mean, good, not great. I think Roll is the best one that's not going to the NFL. Brink, wasn't he an All-American? He ain't going to the NFL at all. 
This is not even close. Low. He had a good year this year, better than last year. And these are people I inherited, but obviously when you put the battery in their back, like Gardner, man, that dude is a whole different person. And then look at his receiving, bro. He won. I mean, he should have been an NFL player with them type of stats. The kicker, I don't even think I ever kicked a field goal, like ever. We're almost done, though. We got the left end, Gutierrez. And then we got Fowler, you know, the tight end. He was All-American. So, I mean, our players, I would say overachieved, bro. We even got Collier. Like I said, I don't even remember him. I don't know how the hell he became a captain. Had to be somebody I redshirted. And I know I redshirted Weiss. He ended up going off for 500 yards. I had a lot of people overachieve because these dudes was here when I got the job and they wasn't doing all this. So now we're going to go look at revisionist history. Like I said, they gave me a six year new contract. I ended up 28 and 12, three winning seasons, won 12 games in a row. I mean, I had a great run here at Baylor. And there it goes, the end to another video while I'm Coach Ty Davis on his journey from coaching high school to college and now the NFL. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.